Okay, question 5.3, part B. In part A, we designed a Butterworth low-pass filter, and here we're going to convert that low-pass filter to a high-pass filter. Oh, bear that in mind that a common way, a usual way to design a high-pass filter or a band-pass filter or band-stop filter is to design a low-pass filter first, and then convert that to a high-pass filter using frequency transformation alright so for the case we have here for the uh, low-pass filter, Butterworth low-pass filter we have here the transfer function is uh, h of s equals 1 over because it was uh, a second order low-pass uh, Butterworth filter so its transfer function is in this format s over uh, omega c uh, squared plus s over omega c times square root of 2 plus 1 all right so if I want to convert the low pass filter to the high pass filter, what I need is to replace, uh, let me use different color, uh, what we need is to replace S with uh, omega c squared, the cutoff frequency, over S. All right, so I replace all s in the transfer function of the low-pass Butterworth filter and derive the new uh, transfer function, which is the transfer function of the high-pass filter uh, with the same frequency, cutoff frequency. And that's what we call it uh, frequency transformation. All right, so then we would have h of s equal 1 over uh, instead of s I should replace it with omega c squared over s so I would have s times omega c plus uh, omega c squared and this is squared omega c squared uh, over s times omega c times the square root of 2 plus 1 and if I further simplify this then we would have h of s is 1 over um, omega c over s squared plus omega c over s times the square root of 2 plus 1 and this is the transfer function of the high pass filter okay so the transfer function of the corresponding high pass filter for this low pass filter for this uh, Butterworth low pass filter so as you see we just did the frequency transformation and we, we replace the variable s with omega c squared over s.